Um, the cover art got him on the throne with his legs crossed on some gay shit. It was another fucking artist that did that. I was going to do a video about him, but I didn't get to do it. Um, this cross-dressing feminine shit, for some reason, is very, very um, prominent right now. The more feminine you are, the more mystery there is around you, I guess. Um, we don't look at the gay shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Um, I guess it's because of this whole everybody's scared of the LGBT shit or whatever like that. So I guess they know that you can't go too ham on them for being uh, homosexual. So they just they flirt with that homosexual shit. And maybe it's to get the LGBT people behind them and shit like that. I'm not sure what the fuck that is. But just the cover itself says that this is not a project for me. to the rap trap i am ao conseco fearless leader of ao nation and this is in hindsight this episode really is kind of it should be like foresight because the action hasn't taken place yet but it's about to dj academics is dropping a mixtape on christmas day or christmas night however that shit rock and i believe that this should be categorized in the rap trap because i believe it shows what the fuck is going on um what this proves to the kids is you don't have to be anything special. You can be a bitch that goes on more and cuts your mom out and have a rap career. You can be a nigga with herpes and have a rap career. You can be a motherfucker named Lil Pump and have a rap career. You can act like you a crip then be a blood and have a rap career. Anybody can have a fucking rap career just as long as you bring eyes to yourself. Whoa, Vicky, you know, just any, any of these fucking, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can have a rap career, but before we go too heavy on academics for dropping the mixtape, I want y'all to hear exactly what he's saying on his mixtape. Check this shit out. All right, as we just heard, Lil Ant pull up in the coupe with a do rag. Lil Ant pull up in the job with a do rag. Like, that shit really proved out. Like, all you need to make a song is a fucking beat. You know what I'm saying? Just use the Migo flow. I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do this and I wanna shoot me. You know what I'm saying? Like, just use that motherfucking mumble jumble flow and you can rock. Put some auto tune on that shit. Some type of trap beat and you good. That's all you need. And like, this is like the rap trap. I really, this challenge is really for rappers. You know what I'm saying? Up and coming artists. Like, because I, all this shit is really directly, it directly affects your career as far as like, you over here trying to do this. Like, there's something going on. Um, this road kid, I got a lot of artists that I deal with behind the scenes that fuck with this road kid and, 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 and clap and these fucking companies that will put your music on different streaming platforms, iHeartRadio, um, yeah, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying, iTunes, Spotify, all these motherfuckers, like, listen to me, no one is going to look for your music, no one fucking knows you, no one's gonna listen to your music, those, this road kid is to distribute your fucking music so that you don't have to do it individually. It's for an artist who already has a name. Independent artist. Like, this is this is like a step down from E1. What do they call this shit now? E Koch turning to E1. I think E1 uh, turned to um, Empire. I think Empire is a new graveyard. Cameron called 
uh, Koch, the graveyard. No, I think 50 Cent called Koch the graveyard. It's where all the old rappers go once they, you know what I'm saying, have diminished and fall back into the to the past and shit like that. Like, it's not for popping artists. So, this road kid is like a step down from that. You know what I'm saying? To where, like, you just don't have no backing, no nothing, you know what I'm saying? You just gonna do that shit yourself. So it's like for old artists, but they have a name though. So like when somebody might be on title, like, like let me see if they got fucking, you know what I'm saying? What's the name on this motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Some old rapper like Yuck Mouth or some shit like that. Just a motherfucker that you like, cuckoo cow. You know what I'm saying? Just for like um, nostalgia. So stop putting your shit on this road, kid. Nobody knows you. Nobody's gonna go look for your music. Like, and for those of you who have done that, went through Distro Kid and these different fucking platforms that just put your music out there, as far as, they're not putting your music out there, like promoting it to people, they're just putting it, it's like somebody just taking your song and putting it on YouTube. How in the fuck is that going to help you, just somebody putting your shit on YouTube? If nobody knows you and nobody's going to that shit, how in the fuck is that going to help you? It's going to sit at zero fucking views. It's just on YouTube. The fuck? And it's the same thing with World Star. If your shit is not being promoted, being on World Star is not no fucking accomplishment. I guess that you can put it on your Instagram and shit like that, and you have the World Star title. But even with that shit, if that's all you want, you can just take the motherfucking logo and put that shit on your videos. If that's the only reason you're doing it, you know what I'm saying? It's, we gotta think. But with this shit right here, um, you look at the graphics um, on this project. Um, he in a throne with his legs crossed. It's obvious, like I said, it's obvious that he's trolling and shit like that. And what they say? Stay vigilant to things made in jest. Like, pay attention to what people say to you when they act like they joking, because that, that's really how they really feel, whatever, like, they, they acting like they joking, but they serious about this shit, so with him doing a mixtape, whatever, like that, it's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just clowning these niggas, and that's, that's some more coward shit I don't like, I don't, I don't like that whole, I like what y'all doing, but I know it's unpopular to look like you failed, so I'm just going to act like I'm playing around and do what y'all do, but I really like this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Kind of like um, you you come out in some um, in some Team Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody comes out with some Team Jordans, and um, you actually like the Team Jordans, but you know it's not popular for people to wear Team Jordans, and you know people laugh at the Team Jordans, so you go get the Team Jordans and put them on and walk around like, oh, I'm just, I'm just fucking, you know what I'm saying, I'm just mimicking him, whatever like that, but that's actually how you feel and shit like that. Um, I don't like that coward shit to me. Um, the cover art got him on the throne with his legs crossed on some gay shit. It was another fucking artist that did that. I was gonna do a video about him, but I didn't get to do it. Um, this cross-dressing feminine shit for some reason, is very, very um, prominent right now. The more feminine you are, the more mystery there is around you, I guess. Um, we don't look at the gay shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Um, I guess it's because of this whole everybody's scared of the LGBT shit or whatever like that. So I guess they know that you can't go too ham on them for being uh, homosexual. So they just they flirt with that homosexual shit. And maybe it's to get the LGBT. BT people behind them and shit like that. I'm not sure what the fuck that is, but just the cover itself says that this is not a project for me. Um, going into the first song, uh, didn't like it. The only song, I'm gonna be honest with you, dog. The only song I actually can bounce to is that fucking do rag shit. Like that nigga actually, you know what I'm saying, made a song with do rag. So it's crazy, but a nigga kind of fuck with that shit, whatever like that. And it's just like off nothing. It, this shit just shows you that. This is where we at right now. Bloggers secretly want to be rappers. Rappers obviously wish that they could be bloggers. You see they do the same shit that bloggers do, whatever like that. And it's just really that teeter-totter shit, man. Um, should academics be rapping? Fuck no, but who can, like, what, what the fuck are you going to do about it? It's dropping on Christmas. People are going to go to it. 
he had he did what the fuck a lot of artists should do. Build a fan base, cash the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? You have a fan base, you have people who fuck with you and shit like that. Why wouldn't you do everything that you can to give them content, give them material? As long as you do that, you can make money from it. That's at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do in this business, in this entertainment business. We're trying to entertain in any way. Uh, you got comedians that make CDs. Um, you got uh, newscasters that rap. Like it's just like it's. You can't put yourself. I guess you can't put yourself in a box. Um, so you can't tell nobody what they're not gonna do, whatever like that. But it's also we're gonna see exactly where we're at in rap music if this project or any song from this project goes anywhere. We'll know exactly where we're at, which I already know where the fuck we at. Whenever we got motherfuckers like Bad Baby, Lil Pump, 6 9 any of these fucking faggots that are surviving in this game, we know what climate we're in. You know what I'm saying? So I'm expecting for this mixtape to go damn near number one on all motherfucking platforms. Real shit. I'm El Paseco. This is The Rap Trap. Make sure y'all hit the PayPal. Love.